The storm that hit Vancouver Island this week has left many communities covered in snow and ice, and that has created a tempting playground for kids. But between all the sledding and the snowball fights, some are strapping on skates and heading out onto very thin ice. As CTV Chandler Grieve reports, many are doing so unaware of the danger. It's where many NHLers get their start. So yeah, it starts. I think I'm on ice here, actually. But here on the West Coast, it's where a tragic accident is waiting to happen. So we don't get cold enough here to freeze, to skate. It just doesn't happen, so. North Cowichan Councillor Jennifer Woik rushed to her 40-acre farm yesterday after hearing children were flooding to her flooded field and using it as a hockey rink. And um, when I asked the kids to leave the other night, one of the young men went right through the ice up to about his knee with his with his skates on. He was lucky to get away with just wet socks. Some areas of the property have 25 feet of freezing water looming below the thin layer of ice. And I've had to come down the last couple of nights and, and ask people to... Uh, to get off the ice. Just a few steps on the ice. I'm coming back. And you can hear why the councillor is so worried. I'm more just concerned that people will get hurt, so we'd really like people to stay off. Personally, me, I wouldn't see frozen ice that's only about that thick as being a good idea, so. The police are also concerned, warning children that although this cold spell can lead to fun in the snow, it also can lead to serious accidents. They want to go skating and try try winter activities. Uh, do it in a safe manner. We've had, we've heard about incidents uh, as recent as yesterday where people are going out on, on ice that is just not thick enough. Our, our weather is just not uh, conducive to that sort of activity. I was hurt here. This latest warning comes a day after a Langford boy miraculously escaped with just minor injuries after he slid under a moving bus while tobogganing. Make sure that they're not tobogganing or sledding close to the road. Uh, they can't control themselves and, uh, and we don't want a tragedy to occur. The Cowichan Valley will have a chance to exercise snow safety tomorrow as 5 to 15 centimeters of snow is expected to fall overnight, leading to icy and slick road conditions. But no matter how cold it gets, Jennifer says she will be keeping the gate closed and a close eye on the makeshift rink. Chandler Greaves, CTV News, Duncan.